Hey, it's me again with another video in my Intro to HTML web video series. In this video, I want to talk about linking several different pages together. Websites consist of many different pages. Maybe the, if you go to, for example, Star Tribune, you're going to find lots and lots of pages. You'll find pages that are going to be about local information. So when I click on local, it takes me to another page. Business takes me to another page. And business has several sub pages. Your money, for example. Entertainment is another page. And I've got tons and tons of sub, sub pages. Each website might contain 20, 30, 40, 50 pages. Some might even contain more. In this class, I'm only going to require you to do five page websites. Really short and simple. I want to show you how to set up one of those five page websites right now. It's actually quite easy. We're going to start with just a web page. And you'll see that this web page, all it contains is an H1 that says page one, an H2 that says photo of people, and two images. And you saw these in my images video from a little while back. In order to make um, several pages and link them together, first I have to make all those pages. So what my philosophy usually is when I start designing a website is I hammer out a layout for my first page. And it's going to be kind of like a template that I'm going to use over and over and over again. Let's say that the web page that I'm making right now is just going to contain my H1, my H2, and two images on every single page. Kind of a boring website, but I want to keep this simple. So here's how I'll start. I'll start with my, my template page and I'll save it again. File, save as. Now you'll notice the file that I created is called linking1. See, linking1.html. I'm going to make another page. I'm just going to call it linking2. I'm going to keep the name as simple as possible. Click save. Now I'm going to save it again. File, save as. And I'm going to create linking3. Now you might notice when I saved linking to it created a whole other file so I've got linking one in there and now I've got linking two in that same folder I've created two files so when I create linking three here when I save it as linking three it creates another new file entirely so what I'm doing is making duplicates of that one template page this is a quick and easy way of making a website save it save it again file save as linking four and then file, save as, linking five. Save it. Now if I look in my folder, it is right here. You can see all five pages, all five files are in that same folder. This is very important. If you want to link them together, it's really important to have them in the same folder because we are going to be creating relative links. Okay. And you might, have, you might remember from a previous lesson that if I have one of these files, if I take linking five out and put it in another folder, none of the links to linking five will work correctly. All right, now I'm going to make my navigation to navigate in between all these pages. And I'm going to use the nav tag. This is new. Nav. Nav tag is very similar to header, footer, and article in that it's a semantic element. It doesn't provide any kind of style. All it does is defines the area in between the opening and closing nav as navigation type content. And this is where I'm going to put all my links. Generally in websites, what a lot of designers do is they start with something called a UL. And we'll explain this in a, in a future lesson. A UL is an unordered list. And ULs require something called LIs, which are called list items. Okay, These are going to be the, the bulleted lists that you see on websites. I'm just going to put a link in between the opening and closing LI here. And we've seen how to do links before. A, href equals and close A. Now, in here I need to reference 
another file. And that'll create our link. Right now, I'm, I'm editing linking five. I'm going to link back to linking four. Now, how about just linking one? I need to put some content in there in between the uh, link tags so that I've got something to actually click on. I'm going to save this and look at it in the browser. Okay, so here's my list item. You see it's got a bullet. And then here's my link. If I click on this, it'll take me back to page one. If I actually reference it correctly. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm doing this, I don't pay too much attention to what I'm doing. I have to reference it by file name correctly. So linking1.html. If I look in my folder, this is how it looks. It's linking1 with no space there, and it's an HTML file. So just like with images, I have to reference it by file type, and I have to reference the name exactly correctly. Now it will work. See, sometimes I make mistakes. Not very often, but I do. Now I'm just going to copy this line here, this li to li. I'm going to paste it three more times because I want to have a link to page one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to modify the content first, and then I'll modify the paths, linking two, linking three, and linking four. And you can see how easy it is if you keep the file name simple. I just call it linking one, linking two, linking three, linking four. You might call yours. Uh, project 2 or page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4, or whatever you want to call it. But keep your file name simple. It makes it really easy to um, copy and paste everything. I'm going to save that. Now I need to open up all of my other pages in Notepad++. So I'll go File Open, open pages 1 through 4, just like that. So I've got 5 right here, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I need to put these links in here as well. So I'm going to copy this entire nav thing, paste it right in here, and then change my content. I'm on page one, so I don't need a, pa a link to page one. I'm going to link to page two, three, four, and five. Two, three, four, and five. Save it, and I'll just get to do the same thing for all the other pages. Paste it into page two. Link to one, three, four, five. One, three, four, five. I've got to make sure I change the paths as well as the content. Go to page three. Link to page one, two, four, five, oops, change the path, one, two, four, five, save it, go over to page four, and this is the last one I need to do, one, two, three, and five, and now we've just created a five-page website. So I can go to page two, and you can see I'm on page two, page three, I'm on page three, page four, I'm on page four, page five, and I'm on page five. Now, if you followed along with this video, you can use this navigation as a template to build your other websites. Pretty easy stuff. I hope you enjoyed it.